So we're about to paper tune my new Elite Encore here. And because we're rednecks and working with what we got, <laughs> we are setting up a little paper tune station. Uh -oh. <laughs> so we got the biggest electrical tape I've ever seen in my life. Yep. A Se paper second hand. A paper second hand. <laughs> <laughs> a paper bag <laughs> with Cody's name on it. Yep. Hey. And an old timey ladder. An old ladder. This we got old, ratchet ladder. strap. Yeah, we had to ratchet. Yeah. The barn. Hey, improvise. Adapt. 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 Overcome. What you think about it, Cody? You love it. Love it. <laughs> it looks like what we was talking about earlier. The, the bull's butt so that it would log change? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Everybody thinks we're actually being serious about that, then, no, no, then y'all need help. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> y'all did, use a y did <laughs> not watch Nobody Looney Tunes as a kid. Nobody gonna limp away from this. So yeah, we're gonna use a nap of a what? Hellraiser or? Yeah. Back on Thunderhead. Yeah, something like that. Ooh. These ladybugs. Turp, turp, turp. Yeah, it is what, 75 degrees day in Kansas? In Kansas? Yeah, it's hot. Yeah. And guess what? The wind ain't hardly blowing. What <laughs> is happening? It's always blowing in Kansas. Mm -hmm. Paper tune. And is this too tall? I think we should have put the seam up top because now she's going to stand on a step stool just to be able to put the arrow in the target because at this point... Do you want to stand on my shoulders? She's going yes. to stand on something. Hold on, hold on. I can stand going. on that tire. Well, you've got to be perfect. You can't be torquing. You, you know, you've got to be just like you're shooting. What about this, guys? Tires? Seriously? <laughs> Look at that. That's too, too soft. Yeah, that's too soft. Prove her phone. Stand on each side. This is how you work on your balance. Back on the bucket. Can you see that? You're still gonna miss it, aren't you? I can't tell. I can't see it. Well, You've got to go. Fifteen hundred pound roll of hay. Roll of hay, Bella. Now you can roll your little tire over there a little bit further. Why don't you just uh, stand on the ground? Yeah. Yeah. You can sit, shoot the hay bale from there. Yeah. Okay. Big target. That works. All right. This is what we're doing. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? I'm making a YouTube video. Yeah. We're, what are you Get the bowl ready. Let's go. Let's shoot this thing. Let's do this. B or B. All right. Let's look at it. Let's look at it from the this point. Okay. Woo. See here. All righty. Now she's going to shoot. I'm hoping she can hit that. Let's do this right here. Just in case, because she's going to hub it up in this roll of hay right here. Maybe she can get up high enough. She can put it in that real target right there. Maybe. We're lucky. All right, dude. Uh, tomorrow. You might get, forward. you might take a step forward. Give me a little bit ac more accurate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right Try to hit the. Uh, I can't see it, but we're gonna. Get you go. You gonna be all right. Come on. You see the roll of hay. All I see is yeah, big paper sack. Come on with it. Oh, I didn't hit the target. Yeah, it's okay though. It didn't. Okay, you got a quarter. Listen to me now. Right, you see this right here? That's that's where all right, you got a quarter down into the left tear. Yeah. See it? Yep. And there's another ladybug. <laughs> Easily. All right. Let's see if we can't fix that right there. All right. Let me stop the. Let me stop. The so the cure and the encore are the two that I've got that have the new little yeah. system on it, where you can tune it without a bow press or anything. And what's your bow called? The Remedy. And the Remedy. Remedy, yeah. And I got that thing, dude. Let me tell you something. He's got it. Ooh. If you don't want, if 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 you don't want it to kill nothing, just don't pull it back and let it go, cause something's fixing to die. I mean, this thing right here is. <laughs> but we're about to show you how to tune them yeah, on this new little you system. To, you probably need to wait until I find out what's stuff. I can stop it and then go. I though. can't see. We need Allen wrench. Right. She so. She tore a quarter. 
I don't know, she shot two or three times and, and, and then one of her fletchings flew off of her arrow. So it's hard to, to you know, judge which one. But anyway. Yeah, there's my fletch. We got a quarter. Right okay, okay, okay. All right. That's your bullet hole right there? Mm-hmm. All right, that's about a quarter tear to the left. Mm-hmm. See, your first one was like a quarter tear, but maybe a little bit low too. So we may have to adjust the air rest up or down a little bit too. But anyway, you can see that's a that's a that's a fletching, that's a fletching, that's a fletching. That's gonna be where the arrow went in, and then it's kicking. Let me get let me get an arrow. Which one? Where's your? Uh, in the target. In the target. Okay, let's pick one with the full Okay. Yeah. All right, that would be where it went through, and then it kicked. It kicks this way. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna call it a quarter. We're gonna loosen this up, which I already have, and I may have already turned this too, I can't remember now. But I turned this one a quarter of a turn to the left, it says it right here. Tail left, turn it that way. Same thing on this one right here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna guess at a quarter. Quarter. All right, tighten this back up, and then shoot again. Yeah. All right. There we go. And I got ladybugs. <laughs> They're oh, about to die. What is it? Look at this little dude right here. He looks like he could sting you. He looks like a sweat bee. He does, don't we? Yep. We don't need him. Anyway, <gasps> okay. Now, cut it off. Get your arrow. Let's try it again. Yeah. All right. It would probably be better to have a different type of paper because this doesn't tear. I mean, it's grainy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but this is what we got to work with, so this is what we're doing. This is like on the job right here. Yeah. You know, we're improvising. Anyway, this... We shot a while ago. And it ...is what that. you want to do. You're wanting to see this, more like this. Yeah. This tore, but this is only because of the, the grain of the paper because this was the second shot. Yeah. All right? So this is more in lines what we want to do. You want the... The fleshings, you can see where the fleshings went through, and then you can see just that straight bullet hole and no tear either way. If it is, it's really, really small. Woohoo! Boy, right there. <clears throat> but we only had to touch the bow one time. One time. One, one time, and she's tuned. Now, this is, this is the reason that, oh... You know, people say, oh, you got to shoot a fixed head or, or you know, you got to shoot a, a, a mechanical because mechanicals fly more like uh, field points and all that, which they do. But the reason is, is, is when that arrow is is going through the air, it's coming out of your bow like that, then that, those blades on those fixed heads are catching more air, so it's, it's magnifying that being out of tune. So that's why you got to have your bow tuned. That's why you got to have that bow tuned to, to, so you can shoot <gasps> Fix blades, or, fixed blades or, whatever. or whatever. I mean, this one right here, you could about put a plow point on the front of it, and it's still going to shoot the same. You May not shoot far. <laughs> yeah, but what I'm saying is, it's, it's not. If it's not coming out of the bow doing this, then it's harder. Then it's, to... it's just straight. So yeah. I mean, we're not grabbing air in the front and pulling the arrow over. Yeah. So anyway, that's why I like these right here. Because you don't have to easy to tune. You don't have to spin a yoke on one side or the other to, to tune it like you would, you know, other bows. I'm not gonna name any names, but uh, this one right here is just easy, easy to tune, and you can do it yourself. And you can tune it to fit anything you want. But once you get it tuned, oh, uh, in my experience, I can shoot fixed points. I can shoot mechanicals. I can shoot whatever. It's yeah, because be he shoots mechanicals on deer, but he shoots fixed points on hogs. Yeah. And it shoots every one of them the same. And I always thought, well, you know, you shoot your you shoot your field point, and then you shoot a broadhead, and the broadhead shoots a little bit different. It's because if they're the same grain, most of the time it's because that that just those blades, even on those mechanicals, those blades sticking out of that, you know, or grabbing air and and making it hunt more, magnifying that that wobble. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Anyway. Hey. Appreciate y'all. Hey, appreciate y'all.